far as de-escalation strategies, in addition to looking at shorter duration of um, trastuzumab, um, other um, uh, other strategies that have been evaluated as looking at less toxic regimens. So for one, um, for, for patients with who are node negative, um, who have node negative HER2 positive breast cancer, um, the use of paclitaxel plus trastuzumab in the adjuvant setting has really become established as the standard of care based upon the APT trial. Um, Additionally, um, you know, we've, we've heard about the Christine study that looked at randomizing patients to standard TCHP versus um, TDM1 plus pertuzumab at ASCO last year. Um, and although the, the chemotherapy containing arm did better in terms of achieving a pathological complete response, um, it can't be ignored that those who did not receive chemotherapy did still have a um, robust pathological response and definitely benefited from the from a toxicity profile perspective. So I think we still need to understand who, who those patients are that might be able to benefit from chemotherapy-free treatment um, and try to identify further biomarkers. There have been other studies that have looked at um, chemotherapy-free uh, options um, and none, none have really um, none have really been established as a standard of care, but that's another area that requires uh, further investigation.